Serene from Supermom and you are watching the Supermom Expert series. Now a lot of parents have been asking us about their children's sensitive gut, what are the causes and more about digestion. So in this very special two-part series on sensitive gut with Enfagrow A Plus Gentilis, we are going to look into all things sensitive gut and find out what we should do when our kids have a sensitive tummy. Our guest speaker with us for this series is none other than pediatrician of the kids clinic at Pongo, Dr. Dave Ong. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Dave Ong and it's great to be here to be able to answer your questions. So jumping straight into it, we've heard a lot about our children's sensitive gut earlier in the previous episode and what we as parents can do to identify signs of a sensitive gut. So let's talk diets. What are the alternatives out there for parents who prefer to give milk? And starting off first, the milk formula. So how is milk formula digested? So the milk formula is digested in the intestines by being broken down by enzymes um, into smaller pieces. So these enzymes digest the milk sugar as well as the milk protein into smaller pieces so that they can be absorbed by the intestines. So in sensitive gut, there are various reasons uh, proposed which may affect the digestion and absorption of milk sugar and milk protein. We have heard a lot about partially hydrolyzed proteins. So what exactly is partially hydrolyzed protein? Partially hydrolyzed proteins refers to smaller protein molecules derived from the protein hydrolyzation process. Imagine an intact milk protein. Through the protein hydrolyzation process or PHP, the larger milk protein molecules are partially broken down into smaller milk protein molecules. The smaller milk protein molecules are easier to digest and absorb, hence making it a great alternative for children if they have sensitive tummy. So will the taste profile of the milk change? Yes, yeah, so the uh, taste is expected to be slightly different. But however, parents do not need to worry because this is due to the partially hydrolyzed protein. To help the child adapt to the taste of the milk formula, parents can actually mix the partially hydrolyzed formula with the current milk formula gradually over the next few days to allow the child to adapt to the taste. So besides partially hydrolyzed proteins, what are the other key things that we need to look out for in our child's milk? We need to look at the calorie, protein and the fat content because these are important nutrients for the child's growth and development. We also need to look at the micronutrients, for example DHA, which is an omega-3 fatty acid important for the brain and eye development. Iron, which is important not just for the blood, but also for the child's IQ and uh, speech development. And lastly, zinc, which is very important for boosting the child's immunity. So as you can see, these are the important nutrients that your child must receive. So it's important to read the labels of the milk formula. Thank you very much, Dr. Dave, and thank you for watching the Supermom Expert series. For more parenting tips, head over to the Supermom Parenting Centre at www.welovesupermom.com. To find out more about Enfagrow A Plus Gentilis, click on the description below to find out how you can get your very own samples to try. And if you have more questions about sensitive gut and how you can better manage it, drop us a direct message on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash welovesupermom. Don't miss out on the rest of the Supermom Expert Series videos. Head on to our website to find the rest of the episodes. And once again, I'm Serene and you're watching the Supermom Expert Series.